Hello YouTube, 801 Revolutionary here with another product review. Tonight's product is the Maxpedition Urban Wallet in the foliage green. This is, uh, they have four wallets. This is the uh, second to smallest. Um, their biggest wallet, I've heard a lot of criticism about that it's hardly a wallet at all. Um, this is a great little wallet because it, uh, its size is really great. It, it uh, keeps everything nice and compact all in one spot. This thousand denier nylon Maxpedition uses is just outstanding. As you know, the stuff, uh, it's, it just doesn't ever wear out. It just keeps going and going. I've had this wallet for well over a year now and it's uh, just been nonstop. Um, just great use. Uh, showing no signs of wear and tear. Um, Probably one of the uh, biggest flaws of this wallet, in my opinion, is the fact that this strap right here in front here that holds the wallet closed, uh, this Velcro, this little hook and loop, doesn't run all the length of the strap right here, which I think would have been a nice product design. Um, if you kind of loosely just plop it on there, it will hold the wallet closed, um, but it's nice and loose in your wallet, in your pocket like that, so it would... Uh, not necessarily be so comfortable or compact. If you have this thing cranked all the way down, like this, which I usually carry it like this to help hold it nice and compressed, and I'm a guy who kind of likes the smallest wallet possible in, in the pants. I don't want to be a Costanza. Um, the problem is you can see that the because the hook and loop doesn't run all the way through, it's really only biting on about a half inch of the of the Velcro right there, which I think they could have done a little bit better job on. You can see they're, they're not utilizing all that area right there that could have uh, been used to hold onto that. Um, with having said that, I've actually never had this thing, you know, flip open accidentally and spill all my contents out on the ground. Um, which, uh, with how the design is, it, it's a real possibility that it could happen if, if you were to tip it over. Let me just make sure none of my info is showing in here real quick before I open it. Just so you guys don't toilet paper my house. Okay. So you can see this wallet um, on the inside. It's got the uh, clear plastic shield. Mm -hmm. yeah, people tend to think that this type of see-through plastic is uh, kind of chintzy and will fade and crack over time. And... Um, kind of get cloudy so you can't really see through it but um, I've used this wallet every day for you know quite a while and it's showing no signs of wear or tear it's still just uh, in great shape uh, moving on to the inside of the wallet I'll, I'll uh, pull out some of my cards here so you can look at the inside of it is it the wallet kind of empty here um, see that's kind of what I'm talking about again if you only had a couple of wallet a couple of cards I mean or uh, anything like that then this velcro would almost overshoot where they put the velcro down right there you can kind of see that it just bites just barely I really would have liked to see it all the way um, but moving on to the inside there um, so you have the clear plastic there it's uh, really durable the seams are all double stitched really great uh, it's got one small pocket up front just regular credit card size um, and this is the main pocket right here which is this just really big uh, expanding pocket right there that it gets really wide right there um, I can't remember exactly how many cards the uh, website says it can hold but I assure you it's more than what they say it can hold um, this thing just is non-stop for size. Um, maybe if you didn't want it for a wallet, a business card holder is the other thing I would think would be really great because uh, you tend to just have a big stack of those and you don't want to lose them or get them dirty or bent, so you can just chuck a big stack right in there and, and hit the road and have them all kind of in one spot. Um, if you're a kind of person that can't stand all your cards just smashed together and not in its own little divider, then this probably wouldn't be the wallet for you. And if you're kind of that person that needs your cash all lined out in a different place as well, um, 
I tend to just roll with my cash, fold it in half, and I just tend to slip it right in the back, um, which doesn't really bother me at all, actually. So I just always put, put that kind of behind my cards and just let all my cards ride in, in front of that. And I don't have any problems with that. Um, seems to work out just fine for me. This is a uh, been 801 Revolutionary with another product review from Maxpedition.com. Maxpedition, hard use gear. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe, and if you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Thank you.